can never fully catch a break. I'm in the ramen section and maybe I shouldn't be. I'm just gonna go study at Starbucks right now. I've recently been wanting to like wear bows in my hair to like look cuter. Hi guys, good morning and welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Brianna and today we are doing another midterms study vlog because one of my courses just does not stop for anyone. You have a midterm every other week and then I have a final exam in the middle of October. So this morning I'm just gonna get washed up, put on a cute outfit so I actually feel alive. I'm probably gonna do something with my hair just because it's looking a little rough and I'm gonna head out to a cafe with some friends and we're gonna get study. <laughs> Like I mentioned in the intro and earlier, I am studying for another exam week or a midterms exam week because I'm taking this course that's six weeks long, like I mentioned before, and there are three main assessments. So obviously you're gonna have one every other week. That's just how it works. And let me tell you guys, this is the most busy I have been. I always think that pharmacy school can't get any harder, but genuinely it does. It just keeps getting harder and i'm not trying to complain because like this is the program that i cried and i prayed to get into i knew it was going to be rigorous and well i'm in the thick of it and i think the content that i'm learning is extremely important i just really wish that we had more time to sit with it and like thoroughly understand everything at a bit of a slower or more normal pace and i'm not just cramming all the information like blitz memorizing it like i am committing it to memory i obviously need to do that to pass but I just wish that we had more time to sit with the content because it is interesting and I do want to actually learn it and know it like the back of my hand and it's unfortunate that I'm only given really two weeks at a time to do that. I'm finally leaving this cafe and it's literally 6.12. I have been here since 10.30. It's time to go home. I just want to give a huge shout out to iHerb for sponsoring this portion of the video. iHerb is a website that sells a lot of like holistic wellness products. You can get vitamin supplements on there, shower products, skincare, or like beauty products. I went down the food route and bought a lot of things from Simply Organic because you guys know ever since I've moved out, I've loved trying new recipes and that requires a lot of spices. And that's why I chose the best quality from Simply Organic. iHerb ships to over 180 countries and everything comes directly from their warehouse. They also have a really good 90 day refund policy if you're not happy with any of the products that you got so i picked up a bunch of spices that i don't own already like i got adobo seasoning which is a filipino spice i got lemon pepper and garlic and herb which i think will be perfect on chicken and then these are refills and a little bit more basic i got garlic powder garlic salt and smoked paprika and i also got crushed red pepper which i think will be perfect on eggs or avocado toast if you guys are interested you guys can check out iherb be sure to use my code brianna quant to get a 20 percent off discount site-wide you guys can also check out my link in the description box to check out all the spices and seasonings that i chose and, and for the recipes that I cook in this video. So without further ado, let's get into the kitchen. Okay guys, ignore the noise. That's just the dishwasher running. I'm back after class and I actually really like my outfit today. I'm literally doing a fit check in the kitchen, but I got these pants from Ritzy. They're like the Wilfred. I don't know what pants they are. I'll put them on screen. And then I'm wearing this like super cute, like white cropped cardigan that I got from Korea. But what I want to show you guys is this new fireplace pot that I got. This is the Selena Gomez collab and it's in the shade Azul. And it matches the pot that I have. And I'm just like really excited because I love set. I'm actually going to prepare dinner now. I'm going to do a sushi bake. So I'm just going to get the rice going and then I'm going to season the fish and then I'll just like pop it in the oven later. Also, I got my nails done for fall the other day and I think they look so cute. So because I have a final really soon, I just don't want to have to worry about cooking. So I'm going to make enough sushi bake so I can have some of it tomorrow and like probably the day after that as well. So I'm actually going to cut up one kilogram of salmon and then just season it with these simply organic seasonings. So garlic salt, garlic powder, and then a garlic and herb. I really like garlic and then some black pepper. I'm gonna pop into the oven at 375 for like nine to 12 minutes. And then I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna shred it and we'll do the rest of it together. just took the salmon 
out of the oven and I kind of just put it into this bowl and I'm just gonna put Kewpie mayo in here and maybe sriracha or like spicy mayo so that it's kind of like a spicy sushi bake because otherwise it'd be a little bit flat, I think, like in terms of taste. and we have class at 12 so we gotta get going or we're gonna be late for this 20% paper. Good morning guys my hair is looking a little bit rough because I haven't washed it in a bit and I'm also breaking out right here which is so annoying it's like right in the middle of my face but anyways I'm heading back to Midnight Run which is a cafe that my friends and I really like going to because it's just so aesthetic it has a really nice big table and it is a little bit later in the day it's like 10 30 now so I'm not 100% sure if we'll be able to get that table but I do have quite a bit of work to do so I'm gonna head out. So today at Midnight Run, you guys need to count how many times I say Midnight Run in this video and comment it down below because I think I said it too many times. I don't know how many times, but too many. But anyways, today I'm making Anki cards for my midterm again because I think it's one of the most effective ways to memorize a large volume of content. Like space repetition, being able to see things over and over again, recognizing them, especially because a lot of my assessments are multiple choice. I think all the finals that I'm going to be taking are going to be multiple choice besides my pharmacokinetics course, but yeah. That's what I'm just doing today. And I even put on a Pomodoro timer because I remember how much it used to motivate me before and I actually really missed it. Okay, we're going into Michael's because I need to buy a bunch of bracelet, like friendship bracelet stuff to go to the Taylor Swift movie. I've recently been wanting to like wear bows in my hair to like look cuter and Aika just thought I should wear one of these. Perfect. Okay, we found the section. Hey, it's buy one get one 50. Okay, slay. And this is like my inspo. Like these? Why don't you get like this? I'll have a little bit of everything. Sam and Sarah and I just got a peppermint hot chocolate but I got whipped cream but I didn't know it was an extra dollar and I also didn't know that the peppermint syrup would be another extra dollar and I got soy milk instead of cow milk because I'm lactose intolerant that's another 50 cents so this is nine dollars <laughs> which is crazy and I'm making Anki cards for our exam next week I've been here literally all week. It's called Midnight Run, which is closer to my main university's campus. And I'm just sitting for my IPFC final. It's in five days from now, and there's so much content to cover. But I think my pacing is actually quite decent, so I'm not too stressed yet. But I might regret saying that over the weekend. And in like two hours from now, I have a spin class that I'm going to with Sarah, and I'm probably just gonna study at mine for like the rest of the night. 
So this vlog is actually so long that I'm studying for two separate midterms in this video. Like it spans three weeks. So right now I'm actually studying for the second midterm. And two, I know that my study technique was effective at like answering the questions correctly on the previous midterm. So that's why I feel like I have a better game plan moving forward. So there's also a few days before. So I feel like my nerves are only at an all all time high when it's 48 hours to the assessment. Good morning guys. I'm just gonna go morning study at Starbucks right now because it didn't get as much work done as I thought I would after a spin last night. So we're up early and we're going. They all want something now. I don't got the time to go and fuck around. See my eyes got money bags. I don't rest. I might be a Nike fiend, I need my checks Headed for the light, ain't just hype, it's not overnight I take my advice, I'm gonna do this right Feeling nice, what's the price, yeah. Do not live in twice, yeah. My fam on my spine, yeah. Green be getting sliced like a lime I never ever meant to be so sour Okay guys, so I just got in and I took literally the most intensive everything shower. Every inch of my body has been exfoliated and shaved. I did a face mask, I did a hair mask, I had salt going in the water, I had a candle going because that final literally sucked the life out of me and not in the way that it was like brutally hard, but it was just like, it has been a grind. I feel like I'm baiting you guys, but basically the final went okay. It's just, I feel like exhausted afterwards. It's kind of like when you're in a social setting and your like social battery has to be at like a hundred and your personality has to be like on all the time. I feel like when it comes to school, obviously your brain is just on at like a hundred all the time. I feel like I can never fully catch a break. So I just got home after the final and I laid in bed for literally three hours just on Discord with Daisy. We like hardly said anything. That's one thing that I love about Daisy so much. She can just read the room like she can read me so well. And it's like, okay, we're just gonna be coexisting over the phone while we both decompress and like scroll mindlessly on Instagram or just like watch something because we don't really need to talk right now. It's like I want to decompress But like I do want to have the company of someone and like I do want to like spend quality time with a friend And I clean my room which I hadn't done in like a week so I can finally see the floor But anyways, I'm gonna open a package. I pre-ordered a sweater from source unknown and I'm so excited to finally get this Guys, I'm telling you I feel like this is the perfect fall sweater It was just bubble tea. I got a soy dirioca that I'm gonna have to also add to my like self-care night it's like the most beautiful off the shoulder sweater, guys. Oh my god. I wanna put it on. Should I put it on? Okay, maybe I'll put it on, hold on. So it's a sweater and it looks like this. It's like one size and it's super oversized and you can wear it completely off the shoulder or I've seen a lot of people wear it like one shoulder up and then more so down on the other. Kind of like this and I think it looks so cute and I'm so excited to wear this, oh my god. We're at Laurier, which is the university really close to Waterloo's main campus, and Sarah brought us here, and it's so much prettier than like main campus with the girls. <laughs> So welcome to my channel. <laughs> so um, my name is Sarah. <laughs> oh, I'm liar. trying to decide which Taylor Swift <laughs> album to buy. This is a, like so difficult. What? So so difficult. Priorities. I mean, it's not like they have a midterm in two days. Okay, so I'm trying to make dumplings from scratch again with the girls. So I'm trying to pick up brown shrimp and pork for the mixture, and I'm a little overwhelmed. I feel like this is fine. I'm gonna need a lot more of this. This is also six dollars, so I'm gonna try to see if I can find a cheaper one. I should say no. I can't even handle the spice and these. That looks kind of good though. Ugh. No, I won't. 
Okay guys, so I just got back from TNT and now I'm gonna do a little grocery haul. I'm also gonna make the one ton and like dumpling mix before I go to bed. This is the crazy part because you guys know I don't eat that much meat and this is probably the most meat that I've bought all semester. I think I have three pounds of pork. I've got pork ham bones that I'm going to like parboil and then boil again properly for the soup. And then I got one ton wrappers. I also got boneless beef short rib that I'm going to marinate with cowpea sauce so then I can have that on Sunday for meal prep. This was probably excessive but i got two huge packs of raw shrimp i got that spicy calvi sauce i have yet to make my own oh there's another pack of ground pork okay and then i got la chung which is like chinese sausage and then i just got a carrot for the soup i literally look like a carnivore why is there just straight meat there's literally one vegetable but we're gonna start cooking right now i just washed all these bones and i'm gonna put them in the water now Okay, this is why I needed to boil the bones. Look at all that like scum that's collecting, which is low key gross. But this is why we parboil. Okay, now that I've taken my bones out and I've rinsed them, I'm gonna put them back into a pot. I'm using my Iron Place pot, so I don't know how many liters that is or like what this recipe really calls for, but I'll put all the numbers on screen so you guys can follow along if you want or like half the recipe because this is gonna feed a lot of people. all the shrimp and like mix it in now i'm going to season it with salt pepper a little bit of chicken powder sesame oil mirin and then maybe some garlic so i'm actually going to take a little bit and fry it in a pan to test the seasoning before i add any more that's actually what i picked up from watching a lot of master chef and honestly it's a game changer because now you don't like have a huge surprise at the end of your dish and it's like oh this is lacking salt for four pounds of pork and two pounds of shrimp i'm going to do i think three and a half like generous tablespoons of sesame oil decent amount okay and this is the soup it's been simmering for like the last hour or so and tomorrow i'm gonna simmer for another three to four hours just in the morning while i clean the apartment and i'll season it right before serving because usually if you season it like before you let it like simmer it'll actually just get more concentrated because the water's like evaporating mm -hmm. 